Let me show you how to do this trick. We can pull a straw out of a fluid, wave it around and have it change color, replace it, and the color disappears. But yet, if you try the same thing in a different fluid, you don't get the same result. To pull off this trick, you'll need some straws or other plastic that contain thermochromic inks. Thermochromic inks change color depending upon temperature. This particular type of thermochromic ink will be colored at a low temperature and colorless at a high temperature. You get a different result in the two fluids because this test tube contains water, whereas this test tube contains acetone. Why the difference? The difference occurs because acetone evaporates much more quickly than water. When things evaporate, they require energy. So in order to evaporate off this straw, the liquid acetone is going to gain energy from the straw. Because the straw loses energy, its temperature drops. And that makes the thermochromic ink appear. You can tell that this is happening very quickly because that temperature is really cold as I feel it. So I know that acetone evaporates very fast. As it evaporates off the surface of the straw, the temperature of the straw drops. Now, of course, this fluid here, the acetone here, is room temperature. So when I replace the straw, the color disappears. The straw is no longer cold. When I move the straw from this test tube to this test tube, you'll notice I do it very quickly. I don't want to leave the straw hanging out in the atmosphere for real long because the acetone will then start to evaporate and the color will appear. So notice, when I change from this test tube to this one, I do it as fast as possible. Now the same thing doesn't happen over here because even though the water is evaporating off the straw, the evaporation occurs much more slowly. Because the evaporation occurs much more slowly, the temperature doesn't drop very quickly and you don't see a color change. I hope you enjoyed this experiment.